What up, y'all? So we outside today, man. It ain't raining outside like that. It was earlier, but it done stopped. So we outside. I forgot the vlog where I went to this one clothing store, Departamento. But um, I'm outside today, so I'm probably going to go look at a couple clothing stores. So I want to bring y'all with me type shit so y'all can just see some of the shit that I be seeing when I go into these stores. I got to drop off this shirt to the homie, and then we could go ahead over to go look at some clothes. And did my little dance on Instagram today. So I'm saying look sweet. So feeling all right today, man. So... So this is my dilemma, right? Y'all getting first take, first take Jake shit right now. Y'all getting the exclusive me just going over this right now. So hold on, let me get right so I can show y'all. Y'all see the hoodie, right? The thing about this zip hoodie when I do this logo is number one, since it's over the zip, it does this shit, right? It kind of like it gets weird and awkward right here because this is puff. It will do this. It'll also do this when I do a flat logo but on the seams and shit like that it does this like weird ass you know what i'm saying all of this weird shit right so what my dilemma is because i did drop i dropped these before and it kind of wasn't as bad but i had a lot of them where i had to like not sell to people because they was all fucked up like this so my dilemma right now is if i get i'm about to give him a hoodie like a regular pullover hoodie and see what the logo looks like on the regular hoodie because it won't be the same. So you'll be able to see all the words right here, all the words right here, all the words right here. This will still be over a pocket, but all of this would be clear. The only thing that might get like weird is the pocket, but that ain't gonna really like bother me that much because it's just like the pocket, but everything else would be clean. So my thing is I'm probably gonna do that because I don't wanna be selling y'all this stuff and y'all get mad that it got this shit on it. I don't be bothered by that, but I know when people spending their money on stuff, you don't want shit bullshit. Like, that's bullshit. I don't like that at all. I do not want to see that done like that at all. That shit is terrible. So, yeah, I just had to give y'all, like, a little scoop. Like, it looks sweet, cool. It looks cool, sweet, whatever. But I'm going to see what it look like on a hoodie, and I'm going to see that tomorrow, though. But I had to give y'all, like, the first looks, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know. Duh. Alright y'all, so we about to go in Juice Van Noten. Going to Juice, bro. They got like a crazy ass like walkway too when you get in here. This shit's fire, like the yellow door. You can like see in there and shit. Ah, oh, this shit fire, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I've been here before, but just seeing it every time is fire. Oh my 
Trash looks sweet. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I love that store. <laughs> I love that store so much. And I don't got no ticket. I ain't put no money in the meter. We lit. But I love that store so much, bro. Like, just the ambiance, bro. Like, just being in there is crazy. And that's the only Juice Van Noten store in the United States, bro. Like, that shit's, bro. That shit's tough, bro. Like, that shit's tough. And it don't help that I hit the J a little bit, so I'm a little high. So I was just in there looking at everything, bro. <laughs> I was in there looking at everything. The system was down, so I couldn't buy that, like, dog book. But it's, like, uh, the author, the person who created the book, he goes around and finds dogs, dog owners. And he asks people, like, just asks them about their dog and shit like that. And they give stories about them and their dogs. That shit is fire. Like, I couldn't buy it because they said that the systems was down or some shit like that. I got to come back tomorrow. I'm like, okay, but whatever. But, uh... Yeah, they book like twenty five dollars, so it's not taxed. I thought that shit was gonna be like three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, but yeah, that shit looks sweet. But yeah, I love that store, bro. If y'all ever in LA, like y'all gotta go see the Juice Van Noten store, bro. Just to just see what it feel like in there. That shit is fire. I love it in that joint. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. <laughs> I don't know how we ended up here, bro, but. This is where we ended up at. That's where the little cream and shit go at. If y'all never seen this. I'm about to crush these. Yeah, so I don't know how this happened. How I ended up the Krispy Kreme. I was supposed to go to more stores when I was, uh, after I came out of Dries Van Noten, bro. Well, I do know what happened. So I told y'all I hit the J a little bit. Did I tell y'all that? I don't know, but I had hit the J a little bit. So after, when I went to Dries Van Noten, I was just like mesmerized. Like I told y'all I've been there before, but like just every time I go in that drink, that shit just, that shit just do something to me. And me being high in there, it just made it even better. So after I came out of it, I was just, after I came out of the store, I was just sitting in the car right outside the store, just like, on my phone listening to songs and shit like that bro like what the fuck and then next thing you know i was on my way to Krispy Kreme. <laughs> i was like fuck i didn't even go to the other stores i was supposed to go to bro but we had Krispy Kreme. you see it's dark outside now and shit like that i was sitting in the car like just sitting outside of dreams van Noor for at least two hours bro i'm not even gonna lie to you the car was off everything i'm just sitting there bro like no funny but Fuck it, man. We ended up at Krispy Kreme. This shit like eighteen dollars, bro, for twelve of these joints. But these shit's good as fuck. I'm about to crush these shits, bro. No cap. Nah, this shit about to be good as shit, bro. You know what? It'd be sick if I drop all this shit on the ground. I'd be sick. I fucking cry. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to crush one of these joints. No funnies. I low key don't really like them when they like fresh when the like hot sign is on, but I'm about to crush this joint. I don't really like them when they like fresh, hot, like freshly hot. Cause they kind of like melt like really really melt and i know that's how they low-key supposed to be but i like it when they get fluffy right now it's kind of like like i said they literally melt in your mouth pause but that shit's still good i had to get a dozen of these bitches because when i'm in the crib i'm gonna crush these right you heard that shit this is like some wet 